Hello everyone, exciting news today, coming to you live from Frankfurt, Germany. Yes, once again, it's Cybos, the SWIFT event, and it's the highlight of the financial event year. My favorite event, and Cybos is in Frankfurt, Germany, one of the financial capitals of the world. What better location? What I have for you today is really special. It's my good friend, Adam from Finestra. Adam, how are you doing? Doing great, Chris. Great. Great to see you again. It is. It is so nice. So tell us a little about where you're at in Finestra. Yeah, definitely. You know, Chris and I, we spoke uh, probably almost exactly a year ago. Yep, yep. And it feels like the field is moving so fast that there has been a lot of exciting uh, things going on at Finestra. You know, I think when we last spoke, you know, we were talking a lot about customer support. You know, how can we build these rag type systems to increase the support for customers and our internal functions? You know, and as of recently, we're exploring, you know, many different ways in terms of which we can drive financial products. As you know, you know, financial products are very traditional. There's a lot of different places you need to enter in information, move through screens, the input windows, you're typing. And, you know, is there a better experience, right? We talk a lot about application modernization. And a big part of that is making our products more accessible, being able to drive them through natural language. Well, you know, it's really interesting because, yeah, last year we were talking about service models, but... Really, what I've seen in the industry over the, the last year is, is first, instead of seeing looking at these applications for how can we profit, but looking at internally and say, how can we cost save? Are you seeing the same thing? Definitely, yeah. We've had some tremendous strides that we've made internally at Finastra. Mm -hmm. Internal productivity for our engineering and non-engineering functions has been a core focus. We've actually... Uh, unveiled our own platform, we call it Finastra Flow. But the whole idea is, you know, it's one internal central platform that allows our teams to connect to the large language models that they prefer, and also bundle in all the great work we've been doing around the business in one central interface. So it provides more of that reusability and discovery across the business, really just designed to increase the productivity for our internal functions. Well, you know, Adam, besides the name Flow, which I like, <laughs> you know, the, just the whole idea and concept that you're using these things internally really makes them even more perfect when you go out and give them to customers because you have actual use experience and results. Are your customers seeing this? Definitely. Yeah, you know, I think internal productivity is, is a key measure, yeah. right? Because think about, you know, releasing new product features, right? It's coming from the engineers within Financial that are developing these products. And if you're giving them the tools to supercharge their work, you know, whether it's writing code, having more test coverage and writing unit tests, vectorizing and making code more efficient, you know, you're directly putting it back into the product for our customers. So for your customers, we'll, we'll jump to the other side real quick. For, for your customers, what's some of the challenges that, that you're solving for them? Definitely, like I mentioned, you know, one of the, the big things we're looking at right now is being able to drive our products, right? modernize our applications, and provide a fresh experience. You know, when we talk a lot about modern, modernizing applications, it's you know, a core part is the, the user interface and the user experience. So one of the things we're doing right now is like we're looking across the payment space trying to figure out how can we help our wire room operators, you know, with their day-to-day -day tasks. Instead of, you know, navigating through a product, you know, clicking through screens and entering an information, you know, how can we provide them a natural language experience so they can just ask for what they want? Well, you know, today, too, you see the, the upcoming of the, the digital natives, right? You know, people, young people who've been born into this, very luckily, I think, born into this, but their demands are different than what we saw in the past. Oh, Definitely. Yeah, you know, you, you think of the, the logos that you thought you needed, and now you look at the logos that you're expected to have for this younger generation that's entering the workforce. You know, it's all these AI productivity tools, and, you know, organizations are going to have to start catering, you know, to help match the needs of, you know, the incoming workforce in order to help them drive productivity. And, and you know, it's interesting because, you know, for, for me and my generation, you know, we had to learn all this stuff, and we still have to learn it. They come already with it baked in, so they know much better what they want. And how are you being able to meet that kind of demand? Because you're really talking about, to me, two things. One, your, your customers' workers, right? So young bankers yep. in that case, right? Or you're talking about your corporates and, and the corporate's customer. So the customer's customer. Oh, exactly. And you know, knowing just the AI space, it's so hot right now, yeah. right? It feels like every day there's a new model provider that's all of a sudden top the leaderboard. There's new tools that are constantly being brought to market. Right. So you need to be nimble in your approach. Right. You know, you can go all in on one platform and that's great. Right. But what happens when that next great product is unveiled or that next great model? And all of a sudden you have an integration challenge. And that's something, you know, we at Finastra have been thinking about 
it can actually roll it out in our internal AI platform. So we do have that ability, right? Like, yes, we do have, you know, some core model providers that we prefer, but also it allows us to be flexible as, you know, new entrants come into the market to give our teams the best of breed. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting to me, too, because, you know, we're here at Cybos. It, it, there's a lot of innovation that's always talked about at Cybos. The buzzwords today, I would say, is AI, tokenization, stable coins. You know, these, and these are all valuable things that are going to impact in a positive way what we're doing. But if these things are, are not connected, how do we get value out of them? Yeah, definitely. That, that's a great point, right? You know, when I think of connection, one of the... the buzzwords that come to mind is MCP, which I'm sure many people have heard of, which is Model Context Protocol, right, right. often framed as the USB port for applications. That's the whole idea, right? It's You can have this universal protocol, whether you have a source system um, and actually just connect it to an AI application. So it allows you to access all that functionality, you know, access agents behind the scene, but you know, it's kind of agnostic to where you want to operate from. Well, you know, it's interesting because I, I always say that t tech is neutral. Tech does, doesn't oh, yeah. care, right? <laughs> it really doesn't care how many zeros there are or, or whatever. So, you know, it's finding how to make that work to our advantage. And, you know, you found it. I mean, you guys are doing it. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. I think that's what we want to do is provide, you know, the best experience for our clients, the most modern applications. And I think that's a core technology that, you know, not only are we just exploring, but, you know, it's also being pioneered across the field. Right to push this technology to become, you know, mainstream and part of our daily life. So I'm very excited for Model Context Protocol, all the opportunities that's going to provide us internally and also our clients. Look, and you know, I, I mean, I know the company for so long. You guys have a lot of great products, and and many of the banks don't just have one of your products; they have three, four, maybe more products. So being able to try to pull them all together to give the bank a, a bigger overall experience, is that one of the goals? Oh, definitely. And, you know, touching on a, another innovation topic, kind of agent-to-agent -agent protocols, you know, imagine you have multiple products across the Finastra suite, right? And maybe you need to hop from one product to another, but you can actually have agents across products communicating with each other. So if you're doing something in lending, now all of a sudden you have to do something in payments, right? The future could be that agents are actually executing these tasks, communicating with you and for you, and you know, taking that action across the disparate products. So in a sense, you, know, you can have disparate products, but also have a way to bridge them together through something like model context protocol or even agent-to-agent -agent protocols. Well, I'll tell you, it's very valuable stuff. So now I'm gonna put you on the spot, right? <laughs> we talked a year ago, the progress to now, is, it seems like must have been five years ago we talked, right? Oh yeah. So I'm gonna put you on the spot now and, and say, what are we gonna be talking about in a year? What's your predictions for the future? I'm going to say, and I think I've said it a couple of times so far, MCP, Model Context okay. Protocol. Good. I think it's an invaluable valuable technology. You know, if you want to modernize applications, right, and not have to rewrite full products, you know, you have the ability to still access all these source systems from a fresh and clean UI of your choice. So I think it's a, an amazing technology. It's a universal protocol that works with all different natural language providers. You can build your own platform if you want and work with it. So I think that's a... You know, a core technology I'm very, very excited for for the, the next year. Well, great. So there's a tip to the audience on what you should be thinking about and doing about and what Adam and I are going to talk about next year. Exactly. Thank you very much, Adam. We wish you the best of success, Thank Finestra, you, and for all the projects you're working on. And we really appreciate that you spent some time with us at Financial Light. Likewise. Thank you so much.